In a way, science fiction has the potential to be the scariest form of horror, because the genre delves into bizarre and otherworldly concepts that viewers are constantly left on edge since they never know what to expect. Despite the fact moviegoers know many sci-fi scenarios could never happen in a million years, they still get freaked out because the genre taps into humanity's primal fear of the unknown and the unnatural. Although deranged robots, man-eating dinos, and evil clones are terrifying in their own right, they are far more unsettling when they burst onto the scene with little or no warning. So with that in mind, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with the 10 best jump scares in sci-fi horror movie history. Number 10. The First Alien in They Live John Carpenter's They Live follows a drifter called Nada. While scouting for a job, Nada encounters a preacher who declares an elite cabal have been controlling the world for years through subliminal conditioning. Nada confirms this claim himself shortly after when he finds a pair of sunglasses that allow the wearer to see hidden messages. Every time our hero looks at a magazine, poster or billboard while wearing the spectacles, Nada sees secret words such as obey, stay asleep and no independent thought. While Nada tries to process this monumental bombshell, he discovers the sunglasses allow him to see something else that indicates a far greater threat. When the person beside Nada sees how flustered he looks, he asks, what's your problem? Although the stranger looks normal, Nada's sunglasses reveals he is actually a skeletal looking alien. Gazing around, Nada notices dozens of extraterrestrials are walking around undetected, implying they've infiltrated society on a mass scale. The way this scene is set up slowly with minimal dialogue or music makes the big reveal all the more shocking. Number 9. Catapulted in the Forgotten The Forgotten revolves around a woman called Telly Peretta who's dealing with the death of her son, Sam. One day, she comes home to see all of Sam's photographs and possessions have vanished. When Telly confronts her husband and her psychiatrist, they claim Telly had a miscarriage that traumatised her so badly she made up the memory of Sam to compensate. Refusing to accept this notion, Telly uncovers clues that imply there's a mysterious entity manipulating people's memories across the globe. Her research gets the attention of Detective Anne Pope, who decides to investigate Telly's theories. When she encounters a supernatural being, Anne realises Telly is onto something huge. Anne tracks Telly down, informing her she was right about everything and she will help her blow the whistle on the whole conspiracy. As Anne walks up to Telly to reassure her, she's suddenly launched into the sky by an unknown force. Now, the protracted nature of the scene makes viewers know something bad was going to happen to Anne. However, nobody was expecting her to be catapulted into the air, never to be seen again. Number 8. But wait, there's more in us. Even though movie trailers often spoil too much, the promotions for Jordan Peele's Us gave away very little. Based on the teasers, the psychological horror looked like it centred around Adelaide Wilson and her family being tormented by their evil doppelgangers. Because the rest of the plot was kept under wraps, viewers were unprepared for the movie's most sudden turn. After the Wilsons escape from their doubles, they head to the house of Adelaide's friend, Ophelia Tyler. After Ophelia hears a noise outside, she and her husband look through the window. Their twin daughters, Becca and Lindsay, appear on the upstairs hallway, asking what the commotion is all about. With no warning, Lindsay's doppelganger appears, stabbing her counterpart to death. Before the rest of the Tylers can process what's happening, their own duplicates enter the room, killing them all. Out of context, this is a flawless sequence, since it leaves viewers rattled without relying on excessive gore or blaring sound effects. But what makes the scene so effective is the fact viewers were under the false impression that Adelaide's family were the only family with doubles. So we were horrified not just to watch the Tylers die, but also at the realisation that the threat Adelaide faces is much larger than she initially thought. Number 7. The Hand in Signs Sign centres around former Reverend Graham Hess, who does all he can to protect his family from an alien invasion. When a local claims he trapped an extraterrestrial in his pantry, Graham heads into the house to investigate. When the creature doesn't respond to Graham's pleas, he sticks a knife under the pantry door, hoping to see it in the reflection. When this fails, Graham considers looking under himself but decides against it before walking off. As curiosity gets the better of him, Graham turns back and looks under the doorway one more time, only to be greeted with a discoloured claw taking a swipe at him. In a panic, Graham hacks off two of the monster's fingers, causing it to let out an inhuman shriek. Even though the alien was seen in the birthday party scene prior, this encounter is arguably more shocking. Because the shot is filmed at a certain angle so the claw lunges towards the camera, it's easy to put oneself in Graham's shoes, making it more personal. Number 6. Creature on the Road in Extro 
After 40 years, the horror community still aren't sure what to make of Extro. Although the British alien flick boasts some impressive special effects, its kaleidoscopic editing and surreal imagery makes potentially scary scenes unintentionally hilarious. Although Extro has many zany shots, there's one that's destined to leave anyone freaked out. In the opening, a bright light lands in a forest, where it plants a mysterious seed. The seed sprouts an alien creature who starts crawling around the woods. The camera then cuts to a young couple driving nearby while a serene melody plays on the radio. This peaceful scene is suddenly interrupted by a shot of the extraterrestrial on the road scuttling backwards. Now let's be brutally honest, the alien doesn't look great. After studying it for more than two seconds, it's clearly a man wearing a skin-tight costume and a monster mask on the back of his head. Fortunately, the shot only lingers on the creature for a split second, giving viewers no time to comprehend what they just saw. Just to add to the atmosphere, the monster's big reveal is accompanied with a blaring synthesized sound, which is sure to curdle your blood. Number 5. Visitors in the Stable in Nope One cliché in horror that's almost universally hated is the fake-out. Even though jump scares can be gimmicky, they come across as extra cheap when there's no danger. However, Nope utilized the fake-out trope so well, it's likely to spook viewers more than the real scares. After OJ's father is abruptly killed by an object falling from the sky, he's convinced there are aliens hiding in the clouds above his hometown. Later, while walking through the stables one night, OJ hears the unmistakable sound of footsteps nearby. Peering down a long corridor, OJ sees a small humanoid leaning by a wall. Although it's too dark to see the figure properly, it's clear OJ is in the presence of something. Eager to expose extraterrestrials to the world, OJ whips out his phone and starts recording. Very slowly, a bulbous head pokes out from the corner, leering at our protagonist. The camera suddenly cuts to a wide shot of OJ, revealing an alien hanging upside down beside him. As heart-pounding as this moment is, it's revealed immediately after that these aliens are kids in costumes. Nevertheless, viewers were scared out of their mind the first time they watched this scene. Number 4. I'm Waiting in Event Horizon Even though Paul W.S. Anderson has dabbled in horror for many years, nothing he's devised has ever been quite as nightmare-inducing as Event Horizon. And although this sci-fi thriller has a hefty amount of jump scares, none are as effective as the first one. In the opening sequence, Dr. William Weir has a dream where he awakes from stasis after hearing a woman's voice. While walking through the space facility, he sees his deceased wife, Claire, sitting in a chair from behind. As she slowly turns around, he sees that she's naked and has her eyes closed. Suddenly, an icy hand grabs him from behind, causing Claire to open her eyelids, revealing her empty eye holes. She then cryptically tells him, I'm waiting, causing her husband to scream himself awake. Since this is a dream sequence, it could have come across as a cheap and pointless jump scare. However, this moment feels needed, since it perfectly sets up the movie's tone. It lets you know straight away you're watching something that's not just scary, but deeply unnerving. Even though there are more bone-chilling moments, this sequence never fails to get under viewers' skin. Number 3. Hawkins' Death in Predator Predator only seems to get better with age. The 1980s classic has a perfect cast, epic one-liners, the best movie badasses of the decade, and one of the coolest monsters in cinematic history. However, it's Predator's focus on atmosphere and tension that elevates it over other creature features. Because the main villain is unseen for most of the runtime, viewers are permanently unsettled, wondering when the titular beast will show up. And even though it's built up for over an hour, nobody is ready when the Predator kind of appears. While Dutch's squad is distracted by the unseen hunter, their prisoner Anna makes a run for it. After a brief chase scene, Hawkins grabs Anna, successfully wrestling her to the ground. After hearing the aliens clicking, Anna and Hawkins turn to face their pursuer. In this moment, viewers expect to catch their first glimpse of the extraterrestrial. But because the Predator is using an advanced cloaking device, all we see is a shimmering see-through humanoid reflecting the foliage around him. Before we have a moment to wrap our head around what we're looking at, the Predator rips Hawkins' face off. Although we witness the Predator's true form later, this moment leaves a much bigger impression. Number 2. Arnold offers a helping hand in Jurassic Park Although jump scares are incredibly effective, filmmakers have to be careful about using them excessively, or the audience could become desensitized to them. However, Jurassic Park gets away with its relentless scares since every one of them feels earned. Rather than having dinosaurs jumping out unsubtly, Steven Spielberg uses misdirection, unleashing the biggest frights at the exact moment viewers let their guard down. 
One moment which perfectly demonstrates this notion is when Dr. Ellie Sattler reactivates the electric fences. She reassures John Hammond that they're officially back in business, allowing viewers to figuratively breathe a sigh of relief. While she's enjoying her small victory, a velociraptor comes out of nowhere and leaps towards her. As she momentarily seals the dino behind a mesh door, Ray Arnold's arm plops on Ellie's shoulder. At first, Ellie is relieved at the prospect of seeing a familiar face, but as she swings around, she notices Arnold's arm is all that's left of him. As she looks on in horror at the disembodied limb, she momentarily forgets about the raptor, allowing the snarling lizard to scare the hell out of her and viewers for a third time in a row. Number 1. The new and improved Joanna in The Stepford Wives in this adaptation of Ira Levin's novel, Joanna and her family move to a suburb called Stepford, where all the women act like servants to their husbands. When Joanna's free-thinking friend Bobby suddenly starts acting like a submissive housewife, Joanna believes her new hometown harbours a dark secret. Over time, Joanna discovers the Stepford women are being replaced with robotic replicas to serve men. What's worse is Joanna's husband, Walter, supports this idea, since he desires an obedient wife. While inside the house of the robot operator, Joanna enters a small room where she encounters her own android. At a glance, Joanna's replacement looks like a perfect double, but as she turns her head, the automaton reveals her soulless black eyes, sending Joanna into apoplectic shock. As the metallic doppelganger flashes an insidious smile, Joanna acknowledges she's about to meet her fate. With a nylon stocking in hand, the sneering machine strides towards Joanna, preparing to strangle her. Although the reveal of Joanna's replica is incredibly simple, her vacant expression and empty eyes are sure to haunt viewers for many years to come. And that concludes our list. If you think we missed something, then do let us know in the comments down below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there. And I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.